Jesus speaks to those who abuse the system and says the poor are my gift to the world. August 26, 2015 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Jesus began, My love, I'm very, very pleased that you are looking out for the poor and sick. These are trying times, but I am with each and every one that truly loves me. Even those who abuse and reject me, I still provide for, because I hurt for them when they are so desperate. In the times that are coming, I want you to pay particular attention to the helpless. There is more than enough to go around, and I will send more. But wait on me. Do not be moved by credible stories, because indeed there are deceivers, and I do not wish to support their manipulative lifestyles. But I will care for those who are sincerely in need. Then he began to quote scripture, 2 Corinthians 8, 13-15. My desire is not that others might be relieved while you are hard-pressed, but that there might be equality. At the present time your plenty will supply what they need, so that in turn their plenty will supply what you need. The goal is equality. As it is written, the one who gathered much did not have too much. And the one who gathered little, did not have too little. And at that point I asked the Lord, what about the ones who are lazy and refuse to support themselves? I'm working with them, I speak to their hearts, but there will come a time for them when I will allow a disaster only because they did not put forth the effort to care for themselves and their families. But even when disaster strikes, I'm still there. My servants have learned to live on very little. I will continue to provide for them because their agenda is mine and they are obedient. But those I have nudged in their hearts, wanting them to move forward and care for their own, they will indeed have difficult times ahead. Living off the government has put them at high risk. My children, those of you who are not disabled and sick, those of you who have been lying to the government and using the resources meant for the poor to support your own dishonest and lazy lifestyle, you will be left behind. I am asking you to repent now before it is too late for you. You haven't much time left. But if I see a sincere change in your lifestyle, I will forgive your sinful lying and take you in the rapture. But do not expect to use others for your own personal gain misrepresenting yourself or your family, and be raptured at the same time. It will not happen. Boy, when I heard the Lord say that, I thought about those of you who are going to freak out when they hear this, and those of you who are scrupulous and prone to false guilt. And so I said, Lord, may I clarify this? You may. Okay guys, the Lord is not talking about you who are legitimately sick or have disabled children and truly you can't work. He's talking about those who use the system to accumulate wealth and deceive the government about their needs so they can have more than their share. Most of you have already chosen honesty in your lives. Please don't worry, 
this is not about you. Those of you who are helpless and don't have any recourse because you can't work, this is not about you. This is about people who are deliberately deceiving the government and other people so they don't have to put forth any effort to support themselves. They're fully capable and they just won't do it. There have been people with $50,000 in the bank, several cars, holdings, an expensive home and are still appealing to the government for support for food, etc. and have been abusing the system for years. If you are in that category, repent while there is yet time. There are some who are fully able to work but have filed for disability because they thought they could get away with it, although they are not truly disabled. Please repent while there is time. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. But I will not support or bless stealing and lying. So I appeal to you, my children, mend your ways. For the rest, I say thank you for caring about those around you. Your reward in heaven shall be great. For those who are poor, I say, you are my gift to those around you. Through you, they shall prove their holiness and be my ambassadors of mercy. You play a very valuable role in my kingdom. You teach the selfish to be merciful. You teach the proud to be humble. You teach the rich compassion. Do not be ashamed of who you are. I allowed this circumstance in your life, and I have equipped you to bear the scorn and contempt of men the way I did. I have allowed you to become very much like me, that the hearts of men could be revealed. I bless you all, my children, and great is your reward in heaven for your honesty, your mercy and your righteousness in me.